<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, being a geisha, being a geisha. Now the reason I bring this up because I'm not a geisha, but Hiroko is, and Hiroko says, oh, that was her dream growing up, you know, being a geisha. Now, for some reason, Hiroko says that she isn't, she didn't get any of the transitional, transitional training that most geishas go through to learn how to be a geisha. She just kind of, you know, did it. So she said a lot of her old, a lot of them back in the motherland or fatherland, whatever you can call it, back in homeland, she said, would probably be really upset with her. What? You didn't go through all the, all the years of training one had to go through, you know, to get to that spot? And it goes like this. But what she'll do is, is that Hiroko will try to act like Hoxamono. She says she knew someone named Hoxamono. She said that was her mother. Um, but what she'll like to do is, is that because she's a geisha, she thinks he's the shit as far as the entertainment's concerned. Well, let me tell you something. I'm the shit, you know. And as far as entertainment's concerned, oh, don't talk to anyone else until you talk to me. Yeah, okay, I figured that out. Yeah, I'm a very entertaining geisha. Now, being in it now, as far as her being an entertaining geisha goes, it's usually up to a matter of opinion, you know. But, okay. It's usually up to a matter of opinion if she's entertaining Geisha or not. But mostly also what she likes to do is, is that she says, also what she likes to do is, is that for one year, for my birthday, she actually offered this. Can you believe? You know, I hate being crooked on the side. You know what you should do? You should have me. Entertain you at your birthday party. Are you going to give me a discount on your on your on your asking price? Jordan says. Or are you going to pay? Are you going to charge me arm and a foot like most geishas over in Japan charge people for entertaining them for a night? Nah, for you, you get a discount. Oh, that's real nice to know. Jordan says. Unlike most geishas, would never go for a discount. Yeah, well, most geishas aren't me. Now, I know what some of you people are thinking to yourself. Um, a geisha in the United States, you're thinking that as far as most of the world's concerned, you think, for, you're going to say, well, wait a minute, Jordan. As far as the world's concerned, as far as entertainment's concerned, the clown and the pantomime technically are way overpopulated and way stretched. And it's true, clowns and pantomimes do have a big market on the entertainment. But Hiroko is one of those people that figures the geisha should have branched out. She figures the reason why the geisha is not as popular as it once was because the geisha didn't branch out. Plus, don't get her started on who she says is a better entertainer, clown or geisha, because if you do, you know she's going to put, you know what she's going to say. Well, you do know that's a stupid question, little turd. A geisha is more entertaining than a clown. Come on, geisha has style. We entertain by our wit. We entertain by our knowledge. We don't have to resort to goofy, uh, you know, goofy tactics, you know, and flapstick humor. Well, that's about it, Jordan says. Hope you all enjoyed my video. I'm Jordan Long, and I'll see you tomorrow.